Hi guys, um, back with another tutorial, just a bit of fun today, like most of the tutorials um, was watching the, the um, is it the Wizard, it's not the Wizard of Oz is it, it's the Summit of Oz, oh man I can't remember, what's it called, the Great, Great Oz, the Great Oz, the Great Oz, yeah I think it's the Great Oz, whatever, um, and it's like all cool like puffs of, uh, magic and stuff like that kicking off everywhere so I just thought well let's just uh, play around and create one ourselves just with some Maya fluids and some particles and we can just create some kind of like magic looking puff which um, we can then composite break apart you know render the fluids excuse me render the fluids and uh, render the particles separately and add a little bit of star glow to them or whatever then we can recolor the fluids in post so that's the kind of effect we're going for so let's get started so it's a bit different today we're playing with uh, my fluids haven't done that for a while um, so we're going to go to the dynamics menu and we're just going to go into create a uh, 3d container with an emitter and i'm just going to crank up the frame rate and i'm just going to grab the emitter itself and just drag that down. So have a hit play, we don't see an awful lot apart from some particles. Let's hit five and we can see what's going on. Okay, so not a lot. Um what I want to do first is doing um just change some some of the settings around here. I'm gonna crank up the resolution. Um, and then I'm looking for auto resize, auto resize, and I'm going to pull the threshold down quite a bit so that it starts flapping around everywhere. Um, so that's not going to change a lot. So we're going to look at the buoyancy now. I'm going to keep that up a bit, a little bit of dissipation, a little bit of diffusion. Uh, let's just hit play. I'm also going to switch off the bounding box because it really does annoy me just uh, look at it all the time so just go up to the display and I'm going to turn that to none so if I just hit play we can now just see the fluid for some reason my machine's a little bit slow at the moment which is odd so let's select the fluid and let's have a look at some of the settings. So I'm going to pull that buoyancy up a bit, and I'm going to keep the diffusion down a little bit. And I'm going to bring, bring the density scale up so we can see what's going on. Then I'm going to add some swirl to get a bit of movement in there. And we'll look uh, at the turbulence in a minute. Okay. Just gonna check my uh, my settings. Yeah, it's set to play every frame. Don't know why everything's slowing down on my machine at the moment. Just gonna shut some windows. All right, so where were we? Um, fluid. And I'm just gonna add a bit of turbulence now. I'll turn the speed down a little bit. Let's see what we got. Well, I started to do something interesting. Um, so I can't see too well at the moment. So let's just go into the shading. Bring that transparency down a bit. And let's play around with the colour. Hmm. What do we want? Let's get a blue going in here. Yeah. Uh, let's gonna make that a smooth transition. Between two, uh, that's going to be a wire gradient. Let's do it the other way around. Obviously, you guys can play around to your heart's content with what you want to do. Get a bit of pink in there or something. Oh. Okay, and I want to look, be looking at the uh, opacity section. Just gonna 
mess around in here. I'm just going to stick in a smooth bezier. Give us some control. Okay, I'm going to stick on self shadow so we got a nice uh, sort of bit of feedback there now. Real light is on. Let's just have a look at what's going on here. My machine is really slow, I don't know what's happening. I'm just going to turn down the um, resolution a little bit because it could be interfering. No, it's not really. Still, I'm going to have to live with it. Okay, so. Where was we? was down here with. Uh, Turn around with the opacity and the light in with me. There we go. Put the input bias up a little bit. Let's just expand that so we can look at our keys a bit better. I'll just play around with some of this because it gives you an idea of how it's all working. Okay, so for sure I want some more movement going on in there and then in a minute we're going to go and um, animate the uh, emitter let's try a little bit more strength from the turbulence uh, start to look interesting alright so well you know for this tutorial that's going to be all right, one well, after. Obviously, we're not going to leave it there, but so let's go and look at the um, basic emitter attributes. So obviously, we are um, emitting a certain amount of particles at the moment. So let's uh, rewind that, and I'm going to actually stick this to zero to start with. I'm going to set a key. I'm going to play it forward a small amount, and I'm going to put it up to. About 300. Set key. I'm going to let that play for a second until we've got some fluids there. Set another key. Play a little bit longer. You get the idea. Uh, let's get it down to zero. And I'm going to combine that with uh, the buoyancy. I'm going to animate the buoyancy as well. So that at the very beginning, we get a whole load of um, speed. So where's the buoyancy? It's up here, hiding. So buoyancy at first. This sort of mad at not ten. Play it forward, and then I'm going to set a key there because I don't want it to be too buoyant for too long. Otherwise, we're not going to get the turbulence and the swell affecting it too much. So I'll we'll have to see if that plays ball. Yeah, that could be something that would, uh, I don't know, make someone appear. Or something appear. Okay, um, and I might just do a little play blast of that. Just to see what it looks like in real time. Because this uh, slow down thing is annoying me. <coughs> oh, I'm really there. I was going to pause the video, but we're nearly there. I just want to see how well the puff happens, to be honest. Yes, have a look. Let's rewind that. 
So that is slow as you like. We need it to be a lot faster than that. We want a real quick puff. Um, so let's work on that. So let's rewind it. Let's try buoyancy at like a hundred. Dissipation down a bit. The trouble with having the buoyancy so strong at the beginning is that we're getting this kind of nuke sort of look, which isn't really what I was after. It's a bit of noise in there. Yeah, that's quite nice. Bit of noise. Oh, we've got a claw coming up at the bottom there. Alright. So that's sort of interesting. Um, you know, for the tutorial, I'm going to keep the time down and not chase this around for a while. Um, just seeing if there's any kind of speed type thing, there's some turbulence emissions in here, turbulence speed, emission speed attributes just wonder if there was like a um, <clears throat> I don't use fluids that much wonder if there was like an initial force that we could claim with at first but doesn't look like it Velocity scale. Let's just try changing that number a bit. Oh, that's a bit faster. Alright, so because that is a bit faster, let's turn the turbulence up. I love the way this all twists around and that. Alright, so, okay, let's leave it there. Um, let's start looking at the particle system. So, let's create an N-Dynamics particle system that I'm going to uh, have working alongside, or interacting with, should I say, the um, fluids. So, we're going to create um, an emitter. Okay. And I'm just going to turn up the emitter there. And we can see that not a lot's going on, we've just got our particles falling down which is fine, let's just get the outliner open so we've got our emitter and we need to select the particle and we need to select the fluid and then we need to go to fields uh, you selected as, sorry effect selected objects Okay. so now when I press that we can see that they're for sure affected um, but what we need to do is pull the conserve amount down on the uh, particles themselves so if we just go into dynamic properties we'll pull the conserve down so they're just going to be affected by the fluid alone now it's probably going to help if I move the uh, emitter down to the same place as the fluid emitter so now we can see we've got these sort of sparkly poly uh, Polygons, sparkly particles going on, which is pretty cool. And I uh, want to just take the particle size down, um, which god damn, my you got so many god damn oh, attributes. Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Um, so let's pull the point size down. Let's use all of this. Turn it all on. So I think for me the particles um, start a little bit early. I'd like to see them sort of a little bit more mixed in. Uh, probably going to crank that up to about 50 here. Let it carry on. 
maybe 100 now. Set a key there. And then I'm going to set a key here and I'm going to let them dissipate slowly. Around here. Yeah, I don't want them emitting anymore now. Okay. Is that all mixed in there a bit? Um, I still think that is um, emitting too early. Yeah, I don't want it emitting at all at the moment. don't know why I put that value in there. Okay, so 0 to 30, I'm not going to have any particles at all. And then they're going to start mixing in with it. So we just render this off in separate passes. And just play around with the looking post. I'm not going to do that though. I'll let you guys do that. Not quite sure. I don't know that spurt of particles that's coming up through the center of them. That's a little bit annoying. Maybe I'll try bringing the um, particles, the emitter, down a little bit. See if that makes a difference. Hmm. Not really. But there is a lot of speed going on in there uh, with the buoyancy and as such. Let's just have a look at that fluid one more time, see if we can't make it look a bit better. never really play with pressure oh, it's not doing a lot for me just turn the swell right up see what we get there oh that's pretty neat yeah I like that. Again though, when you render these things out, we can take them into post, in After Effects or Nuke, whatever you're doing, and just set the first part of the animation to animate quicker, or um, just do away with the first part of the animation and uh, you know just animate the opacity up over a short space of time, but a little bit further down the line. Um, what I would say is when you're rendering them out uh, separately is just to use the mat from the fluids um, perhaps perhaps use that uh, for the particles so they're not all outside of the fluid but it's going to be personal taste I think yeah neat we'll play around with this sort of stuff for hours anyway guys that's just really a lesson on getting particles interacting with fluids just in a fun kind of way alright Nice one, take care. Cheers guys, bye bye.